Who, who comes to mind for people with you who you got to consider either peers or maybe they were legends above you, whoever, who like had respect for what you do, what you were doing, but these guys were like literally, you know, people you admired were your, your heroes? I mean, it's a big list. Um, Steve Wonder, I guess. Or That's a good one. It's a good one. He likes my shit too. He likes my shit. Why I've seen all of them. Stevie's a good one. Because you have a very eclectic, you have a very eclectic group of fans, like in general. Yeah. Anyone else come to mind who's particularly who we might find of, of interest? And I'm like, wow. Like, yeah, like because we know all the artists. I'm sure are tons of hip hop artists who you guys share that ground, but people who might be a little bit more random. I mean. Prince. Slick Rick, Prince, yeah. Yeah. Crazy, um... Sly Stone! Well, meeting Sly Stone was crazy. Uh, Joni Mitchell was crazy. I mean, um... I don't know, man. It's just so many. Uh, Tom York, crazy. Um, for Radiohead. Um, it's just bad, bad people happen. I mean, like me and Miles Davis was just the craziest. Yeah. I was supposed to work on his on his last album. Stop, and um, go work, go work. All day. I was supposed to, but it didn't happen. But I remember speaking to him. Well, I, I first met him. Kid Capri DJed his birthday party in Central Park at the Bull House, and Quincy Jones was hosting. So he was there, Quincy actually was another person, of course, and Quincy introduced me to Miles. And um, I was like, oh, Mr. Davis, I was you know, supposed to work with you on an album. I'm like, yeah, yeah, great. Um, so I had his number, whatever, so they gave me his number to call a house. Miles, you know, so I called a house. Hello? <laughs> Mr. Davis, yeah. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, yeah. Um, I got your number through Sophia Chang. Big up to Sophia Chang. Yes. Who, uh, yes. who told me that you know we're supposed to talk about working on an album. Da -da 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 -da. He's like, um, hold on a second. So he puts the phone down. He starts yelling. Hey. Yo, hey, in the background, so crazy. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. So he gets back on the phone. Hello, I'm like Mr. Davis. He's like, yeah. So, I, I, yeah, it was a little. So, um, I was like, you know, I, we can't the whole thing again, and um. You know, he was like, well, um, yeah, so I guess we'll get together, right? I'm like, yeah, and then um, didn't happen. And then actually when Low End Theory came out, I think it was the day, it's so weird, it was the day they buried him, the day it came out. Yeah, so that was my little, so Miles definitely is there. When I met David Bowie, that was crazy. Wow. Like I've, I've had like my travels, have been instinctive. <laughs> I was kidding. No. <laughs> Where? Oh, he's not there. There you go. Hey, well done. Well done. Um, but uh, so many people go, man. Is, is that and that's not even like meeting Cool Herc the first time, Grandmaster Flash the first time, being on the road with Run. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, is that the biggest craziness. of everything that the music industry has afforded you and that not just the music industry but your life has afforded you 